Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and I am sharing with you my latest bottle cap charms. I am on a bottle cap craze these days and these are bottle cap charms macaroon style. Mm -hmm. And these were fun to make and easy to make. And you're looking at several different styles now, this will not be a full tutorial, but I will walk you through step by step on what I did and what I used. And um, if you're interested in bottle cap charm tutorials, I will have a couple links posted to prior videos. You can also um, check out YouTube because they have a lot of tutorials. Now, if you're interested in how I made this, which houses my delicious sweet bottle caps, I will have a link. Or actually, yeah, I'll go ahead and post a link for this because I just uploaded this video. Now, to get started, what you will need are bottle caps. You can flatten these or keep as is. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you um, a method that don't require a bottle cap hole punch. Okay, so what I used were this Avery L stamp, um, stamp die combo set called Bonjour, and it has their macarons, and they have them in two different sizes. So what I did was I took the um, die cut image after I colored it and placed it inside my bottle cap using diamond glaze. And then for some of these, because I have three different styles, after I put my diamond glaze in, I added some glitter. And then I took a glass dome and put it on the inside. And that's how I created this one. Now the, the glass dome gives off a magnifying effect which is why this image looks bigger than this one because it, it makes it bigger. I really do like the glow, not, excuse me, I'm tongue tied. I really do like the glass dome effect. That's really, um, that's really nice. Okay, and so how I made these other, these two here, I followed the same process. You can see the glitter there, except I didn't use the glass dome. I use this product here. It's a high gloss finish type resin. And you really can't see the beauty in this product on these two um, charms. I have an upcoming video where you will really see the dome effect that this product gives. But I did use them here. And it's nice and glossy and really hard. Now, these two images, you see some shading in there. I don't know why that happened. I think I may have used diamond glaze and I didn't let it dry or I didn't use enough, but this didn't happen when I used it, the diamond glaze that is, on the dome. So I don't know why that's happened. But that's how I created these two. Now, this last one, if you don't have the resin or uh, the glass dome, you can use the epoxy stickers. Now, I don't recommend this brand. I picked up these years ago from Tuesday morning. They're quite flimsy. So what I used was Epiphany Crafts. Now, I've had these for several years, and as you can see, they have discolored. But don't throw these out because they do maintain their shape. I love the quality because they're thick and vintage and sepia is in. So that's what I used on this one. And this one also has the shading. I, I'm not an expert at using epoxy, so I have to research why that has happened because I did use the diamond glaze with um, to adhere the sticker, although it is an epoxy sticker. So that's how I made that. Now, I hate using jump rings. <laughs> Anything to get me out of using jump rings because they are so difficult for me. They don't close. And anyway, 
And so I was experimenting with something to take the place of using jump rings inside the bottle caps because I've noticed too that sometimes the jump rings are stiff when you put it in the hole and you have no movement. So what I came up with was using bead caps and this ribbon cord end cap. Well, I flattened these in my die cutting machine. So it ended up looking like this. And that is how I created using this one here. That's how I got my little um, hook down here. I turned it over, placed it so the opening is on the bottom, glued it down, and then die cut out a circle to place as a backing. Really cool, right? So I still have to use jump rings because you have to attach your, um, your dangle, but doing it this way was so much more easier because you can see my little hole punch right there. <laughs> it, it was hard for me to get a jump ring through there. So I, I love it. And on this one, I, um, cause I didn't add the bales on the top. And so I have one underneath the paper and then I have that, this one on the top. And this is gooey looking because I added too much resin and it flowed over. But yeah, I really do like, um, and here's another one. I think it looks cute. That's the, the bead cap. Yeah, I think it looks cute on the back. Super cute. Now, so I created the little dangle using a mold. I'm going to do a haul video on this company. It's called Patico. I had never heard of them before, and I've been using their products about a month. These are soft molds, and you can use clay or resin, and they're based out of Japan, but they have this macaroon um, shape here. And I used air dry clay to create the little dangles. So that was super easy. You take your clay, put it in a ball, and then you press your um, clay inside your mold, pop it out, let it dry, and you end up with this cute little dangle. And so I wanted the image on the inside to mimic the dangle. And so take a look at it. You can see I have yellow icing in the, the inside. Well, my little dangles have yellow icing as well. And on this one, I added a bead that I colored with alcohol ink. Really do like it. It came out super cute. And I didn't add my bells on the top of all these. I will go back and do that. But yeah, you can take any type of image. If you want to create something like this and you don't have the macarons, you could use a donut image and make you a donut. You can do ice cream. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Super cute. Super cute. Okay, well, I thank you guys for watching and do have a blessed day.